This is Ocelot, a stunning 56-foot traditional style narrowboat built by Steve Hudson in the year 2000. The current owners have had her since 2015 and she's been extensively improved, including rewiring the inverter and galvanic isolator, a complete bedroom refit, partial refit of the bathroom, a new dinette, a new diesel stove, and she was fully repainted in 2018 at Debdale, so the paintwork is immaculate. And in 2017, she was shot blasted, zinc plated and epoxy two packed at Debdale. And that includes the base plate. So she's fit for years and years and years to come. No guessing what the engine is, a Lister JP3. 200 watts of solar panels on the roof. Three side hatches on this boat. All the side hatches, the pigeon box and the front and back decks have storm covers. All very good condition. And she's got such beautiful bows. Real style, real class. The base plate, by the way, is 15 millimetres. So she's a good, solid boat. Good size well deck, five feet. Lots of room out here. There are two gas bottles in the forward locker, but three gas bottles rather, two 13 kilos and one six. The six kilo bottle is to power the gas generator that's on board. Two comfy chairs in the saloon here. The saloon itself measures 12 and a half feet long. Storage in that cupboard there under the steps and there's the bubble stove. That's a diesel fed stove, gravity fed, so there's no pumps involved. And they heat the radiators. That was the generator in that purple box that I just missed. Passing some shelves to the the dinette area. This very cleverly pulls out to make a spare double bed. You extend the mechanism under there. And the mattress for it is cleverly stored away behind there. Nice side hatch here. She fitted out an ash. The woodwork's beautiful. There's a view back down the saloon. Into the galley, there's a rescue ladder and a boat hook stored under here, under the gunnels here. The galley itself is six foot four inches long, squeaky clean grill. The oven is the same and a four burner gas hob. With cupboards over. Those doors lock open. It's very practical, there's nothing to hit your head open on when they're open. Sink here. Storage underneath that, of course. Another large cupboard up here. The fridge itself is a 12 volt or 230 volt. There's an auto changeover on that, so if you plug into landline, it kicks into 230 volts. There's the view down the galley. Head height on the boat, by the way, I didn't mention is six foot three. So we just go down the corridor. The bathroom door is a sliding one, so as you slide the door to shut the bathroom door, this exposes a good sized wardrobe and the Aldi gas boiler. The Aldi gas boiler heats the water in the bathroom radiator. <coughs> Excuse me. Ceramic sink. The loo is a Mansfield Traveller pump out. 180 litre stainless steel tank that goes to. And there's the shower cubicle. Onward we go into the engine room. Here's the Lister JP3. She has a PRM260 hydraulic gearbox. The batteries are under the floor there. There's the inverter. That's a 2 kilowatt Victron. And the calorifier sits under those boards there. The battery bank's decent size. 4 6 volt 225 amp power traction batteries with Citrix battery combiner and smart gauge monitor with those as well. All very accessible in the engine room, very clean. Storage under the floor in here, that offers some very useful storage. And this is a sofa by day and the double bed by night. It very easily just pulls out all the way across the cabin and the back there pops down to form the rest of the mattress. There is a photograph of the bed made up in our brochure on the website. 
another wardrobe here. And some useful shelves tucked away behind that door. So we'll have a quick look at the view from the helmsman's position. And there's Rob having a nose around. Traditional speed controls, push pull gear change. Let's have another wander back through. Lighting all is LED throughout. 230 volts is there's a landline as well as the inverter. She comes with all the usual navigation equipment, lots of it actually. There's an anchor and chain on board. As well as the usual bits and pieces that are all detailed in the brochure. There's a USB charger on board and there is wiring for a television and radio but no aerial fittings. That's Ocelot. Absolutely beautiful boat. For further photographs, a fully downloadable colour brochure and the price go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk